We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to whoa, be counted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I just think we have to be very clear. That she's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. I want to make sure that maybe they do have something to back that up. But that's an explosive charge to make that the other side is effectively rigging and cheating. Uh, if she does bring proof of that, of course, we'll take you back. So far, she has started saying right at the outset, welcoming fraud, welcoming illegal voting. Not so fast. A little more after this. So that was Neil Cavuto, a Fox News host and anchor, cutting away from Trump press secretary Kayleigh McEnany earlier this afternoon when Kayleigh McEnany was basically getting up at the podium to spew lie after lie after lie about the Democratic Party, about Joe Biden, and about the election more broadly, basically saying that the Democrats have stolen or are trying to steal the presidential election, and Trump and his team are not going to stand for it. And you can see, as, she, as soon as she starts to make those specific allegations, he cuts away, basically saying, look, if they have something, we'll bring it to you. If they can prove something, we'll show it. If they have some evidence, we'll cover it. But right now, airing this is just giving her credence to lie to an international audience, to a national and international audience about the opposing political party with basically no pushback. And Cavuto's right, in no good conscience could he air that. And this is not the first time we've seen something like this in the last few days. As I talked about on, you know, one of the election nights when it became clear that Trump was starting to lose, but before the election was called, he did that press conference at the White House. And what he said there was, again, the, the ballots are fraudulent, the mail-in ballots are rigged, they're finding them everywhere, they're counting votes that were cast after the deadline, they're doing all these sorts of things, they're not letting Republicans observe the election, but they let, they're letting Democrats observe. None of that is true. But the point is, when he started to do that, Lester Holt at NBC and other networks as well, not all the networks, but many of them, cut away from the president of the United States because he was lying. Mail-in ballots are so one-sided, too. I know that it's supposed to be to the advantage of the Democrats, but in all cases, they're so one-sided. We were, we're watching uh, President Trump speaking live from the White House, and, and we have to interrupt here because the president has uh, made a number of uh, false statements, including the notion that there has been fraudulent voting. There has been no evidence of that, allegations by his campaign, but his uh, campaign spokespeople unable to provide any evidence. Uh, he also has suggested that the, the polls, and many of which were uh, incorrect, uh, were somehow the product of election interference. Chuck Todd, Andrew Mitchell with me. And that's the right thing to do. Now, I'm not going to give carte blanche praise to Fox News here, because we have to be clear, the reason why, at least one of the reasons we're in this scenario is because of the media and political environment that Fox, you know, has cultivated over the last 20 or 30 years and more, that they have helped to create this along with right-wing talk radio and more recently, right-wing videos on YouTube and other sources on Facebook and Twitter and what have you, that without that kind of influence, politics might not be in a place where one party is basically trying to stage a coup and media basically can't cover that party because that party is based, uh, basing their entire political argument on lies and misinformation and disinformation. And so, yes, Cavuto does the right thing here. And yes, some isolated Fox News hosts and anchors and shows are doing the right thing. But on the whole, the network is still cultivating a space for people to deny the basic reality of this election. That whether you like Joe Biden, whether you hate Joe Biden, whether you, you don't really care about Joe Biden, Joe Biden is president-elect, and he is going to be the 46th president, president, and Donald Trump in a few weeks will no longer be president. And the Republican Party and Fox News needs to face a reckoning, even though some isolated Fox News hosts are doing the right thing. And even though some Republicans like Murkowski 
and Romney and Collins have recognized that Donald Trump has been defeated by Joe Biden, the vast majority of right wing media and the vast majority of congressional and Senate Republicans are basically either supporting Trump's coup or they're standing by and letting Trump do it because they don't want to anger the base and risk being primaried or risk losing those two Georgia Senate seats because Trumpers won't support the Republican Party if they don't back the coup. This is a deserved reckoning. Just because we praise Cavuto now doesn't mean that when this is all done, people won't have to face accountability.